not good news. Um, the relative I was helping in the U.S., um, well, let's put it this way. He ran out of cannabis oil because he only took one container over with him. And what happened was he didn't think it was that eager to come back and re-up on his medication. So, he let a, I don't know, four months go by and he started getting worse and worse and worse. So, I can only help people so much, guys. I can't hold, I can't force you at gunpoint to help help you help yourself um and actually it was funny my uncle I didn't actually talk to him because he doesn't want anybody seeing him I guess he's in that rough a shape but the funny thing is guys my uncle talked to him and gave him hell because my uncle knows it works because he knew it worked when he took, I gave him the full container, guys. His cancer went away by two thirds. He ran out. He was supposed to take four containers total to knock out all his, all the cancer in his system, but he decided to, I don't know, go off it for four months, and then now he's, um. Now, he's in a rough, rough way. My uncle gave him the rest of the medicine that I made for him. But, the other thing was, he was getting radiation down in the U.S. Now, I don't want to sound insensitive or a D-bag, sound like a D-bag or anything, but um, I give you medicine that doesn't promote cancer to get rid of your cancer, and then you either go with chemo or radiation, which promotes cancer growth. Because what it does is it, it's, it's a, uh, it's like napalm, guys. It kills everything that it touches. And then that's not real healthy for your body. And so what that does is promotes more cancer and on and on and on the ever ever exciting money cycle for big pharma now i don't know about you guys but if i gave you the cure for cancer and it has no side effects doesn't promote cancer growth does the opposite and actually helps with other things all over the body and then you go ahead and um, make the decision, well, I'll listen to the doctor and I'll, you know, go for the napalm effect. Just kill everything. Yeah. I don't know what to say to that. Um, you try to help people, guys. Um... If they don't listen and don't follow directions, I don't know what to say. Other than why waste my time, I can help other people. Um, pretty cruel stuff. This is like tough love. Uh-oh, outside door caught the wind. Um, pretty cruel stuff, I'm saying, but it's tough love, guys. Um, 
he was spot I, I told him when I first met him and we were gonna do all this take this container um take it all you're supposed to take four containers within 90 days within 90 days not take one container then take four months of off and do nothing and then try some radiation because you start feeling bad again no that's not what I told you so anyway I'm not gonna go into it any further but pretty I don't know I don't know what's going on anyway it's a shame that that happened he now has two containers full of the medicine but from what my uncle said the cancer has spread to his nose it's tr the cancer is trying to spread throughout his body I just can't comprehend someone not taking their cancer serious and taking the full dosage of Rick Simpson oil I don't know. Don't know what to say to that, guys. Everybody makes their own decisions. Um, I sure as hell won't be doing any chemo or radiation. I'll be taking. I'll be slamming four things of Rick Simpson back within 90 days for sure. Um, yeah, it's too bad, guys. So prayers for uh, my relative there. Um, my dad is continuously on the oil, and uh, also keep your keep my dad in your in your prayers as well. As but as far as we know, everything's going really well. Um, so there you go, guys. Um, if you guys want to learn more about Rick Simpson oil. Um, you can search in my YouTube videos how to cure cancer of any type that is uh, my how-to video over 40 minutes long um, or just go to the health and wellness section of my playlists on YouTube and you will be able to see exactly what I'm talking about what I did how to make it yourself um, I'm currently growing a plant um, first plant my first one and it's coming along really well now I've obviously been growing it indoors no grow lights um, I've tried grow lights on the smaller stuff doesn't work so it could be my crappy grow lights but I'm growing from I'm sowing them from seeds right they're growing really well indoors because the weather's been so crap um, and they're over a foot tall now and they're looking damn good um, so within a couple months I believe they'd be ready for harvest I don't know exactly how long it takes three to four weeks or three to four months something like that but if this plant turns out well, that's, an, that's another pound of medicine for my dad. Um, and uh, yeah, what can you say? Um, I selfishly want a, I want to grow a plant just for myself. I want to do a Rick Simpson batch just for myself. And I'm going to take this stuff, not, not that I have cancer that I know of or anything, but I want to take it as a maintenance thing, just for health and wellness type of thing. So that is part of my game plan. And then, uh, obviously continually make it for my dad, my family, anybody who wants it. Though I'm charging... Now, I'm not giving this stuff away, guys, and I don't sell it either. I tell people to grow their own at their house, and they, if they want me to make cannabis oil, they can 
buy the alcohol for me and the materials that it costs to make and I will make it for him. No charge. Zero money exchanged. The only thing they're buying me is the isopropyl alcohol, some coffee filters, some cheesecloth, some parchment paper, and maybe uh, some containers. So, there you go. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention, guys, this is, uh, this is going to get nuts, but all I see everywhere is everybody cancer 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 my dad um knew a knew a guy just well he knew a guy he used to work with that had he's only 40 44 i think years old two kids and a wife he's dead he died last tuesday or something he had cancer he was with my dad in the same treatment uh, place for his chemotherapy infusion. He didn't make it. Now, again, not to be insensitive or mean or anything, I'm giving, I was giving my dad high-end supplements and the Rick Simpson oil while throughout his whole treatment process and he's still taking the Rick Simpson oil and not so much the supplements um, but he survived and now some people are going to say well maybe he had a different cancer or, or it, can't, it affects everybody differently well yeah it, it's possible but he also wasn't on the stuff that I was treating him with and anybody can do this at home so all the we have an epidemic of cancer going on I know what's I know what's causing it the government probably knows what's causing it because they're not allowing it to happen and big pharma definitely knows but they're making so much money that it's oh my god it's unbelievable I can't I can't stand big pharma um, but getting back to what I want to kind of tell you guys I literally have the cure, cure for cancer I put it out in the public and it's not enough in my eyes I should be out on fuck I should, I almost swore, I should be on street corners, I should be in the cancer clinics, I should be doing this on the daily, and I should be informing people about, no, you don't have, you have a third option, it's called not dying and not having side effects and getting rid of the cancer. But the problem is the government will come along and sue you or whatever. Um, and that's a big, 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 it's, it's their kind of anti-competition, I would guess, for Big Pharma and all these other things. It's, it's not snake oil, guys, if it works. You know, they call everything a conspiracy or they make up these fancy names and criticisms but if the stuff works, the stuff works. And the only reason my relative, my relative didn't take it seriously. And now he's paying for it. Probably, hopefully not with his life, but probably. And that's kind of cold hearted to say. But tough love again. So... I hardly knew him because he's my uh, he's my aunt's husband and they live in the US so I only met him once in total in my life and that was the time I helped him out and the funny thing is guys like I said I'm gonna go around and repeat this again it was working for him they checked him out 
his doctors checked him out. It was working. And he ran out. And then he never came back. I was I was on Facebook with him messaging. I said, hey, all your medicine's ready. Come and get it. And then I kind of, you know, every couple of weeks I'd message him, say, how you doing? You going to come get your medicine? Four or five months later, we're now here. I don't know. I can't hold your hand. Um, most people aren't baby babies or children. I can tell you how exactly to cure yourself and do it yourself. But if you don't do it and don't follow directions, what if, like, I, I, I'm mind blown, guys. Like, what? So, I don't know. It's, it's really too bad. It's a shame. It didn't have to happen that way. Really didn't. So, what I do want to do is eventually I want to help somebody else who has cancer and I want to hopefully do it where I can convince them that if they take the four, the amounts I told them without any other treatments they'll be okay. Now. I don't know when that's going to happen or if it's going to happen. But my videos are out there to the public on YouTube. Use them. Everything's in it you need. Um, look up Rick, Rick Simpson, Phoenix Tears, all his info. Say it's the same thing. Um, the other, other thing I wanted to mention, guys, is... I was doing some more research on it. Cancer does cancer loves sugar. Or at least likes it. So what you want to do is stay away from the sugar as much as you can. Or if you can't help yourself. After you have whatever sugar you're having, get a big glass of ice water, distilled if possible, which is the best, and throw a bunch of lemon juice into it. Drink it down. Or apple cider vinegar. And drink it down. It alkalizes your body, body's pH. Now, the body's pH is important because if you got a real acidic body, if your pH is real is really acidic, guess what? Cancer just can't wait to get into you. Um. Now, you're going to say, okay, lemon juice is an acid. Yeah. But when it's processed down, it alkalizes your body, which means it is an antacid and gets rid of, normalizes your body's pH level. So it gets rid of that acidic, sugary crap in your body. So just remember that, guys. Lemon juice in water should be a daily thing for you guys. The also, also the other thing, coleslaw. Eat, eat it at least once a day or if, as much as you can. Cabbage, really good anti-cancer. I also like to throw a little turmeric or turmeric into my coleslaw, mix it all up. Damn good. Also, any cancer. Brussels sprouts, any cancer. I was lo watching a thing on it, and it's um, I like I love Brussels sprouts. Um, a little butter, some pepper. You're you're in heaven. Um, 
it's 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 the green vegetables guys it's the cabbages the red cabbages the regular green cabbage it's the brussels sprouts the dark green it's the chloroform now this is my own thinking and opinion on it how does the cannabis oil rick simpson oil cure you well it's a plant it's dark green um or it's well dark green green plant it's got lots of chloroform and that's kind of what you're looking for guys that dark green that's the anti-cancer stuff but then again the plant also has the thc and the ter terpenes and the cbd and thc and all the other things that we have yet to have uncovered and studied about the plant because of government censorship so just remember guys if you can't you know just just do those little things and then start growing a plant if you can legally you want at least 20 percent thc in this plant you want something that's easy to grow you want a feminized plant because that's what gives you the medicine male plants don't give you anything so and then just use my video how to process it how to make your own you'll be on your way you can help yourself help your family members but I just wanted to get all that off my chest, share it with you guys in the public, see what's going on. And um, it's a good way to vent. I can vent to YouTube and tell you what's going on and my thoughts on the whole deal. But uh, yeah, that's nothing really exciting at the tiny house, guys. I've uh, been busy with work, waiting for batteries. Can't do much at the tiny house. Though... Coming up, I do want to rip apart on my schedule the fireplace. I got to rip that apart and get it working properly, the propane one. And also have to work on this fireplace. I want to fix the crooked stack outside, so I got to buy a short horizontal three inch uh, B vent or pipe and a pipe insulated pipe in order to bring the stack in closer on the outside to the tiny house that way my brackets will work properly because right now the stacks leaning here's the here's the T the stacks leaning like this not good a lot of pressure there could wreck things so what I want to do by shortening the stack that brings it in, I can keep it level, keep it bracketed, then not mess with it. And at the end, I will, um, at the bottom, I got to do some stuff with the T. I'm going to put a handle on for cleaning where I can just open up the bottom, shove the little uh, scraper through, the chimney sweep through, and go from there. So I got a few projects going. I'm kind of waiting for some better weather for those because it's been crappy. It's been rainy, um, rainy, humid, and uh, not really real hot, hot out, hot out yet, but nice and comfortable, I'd say. But uh, for now, yeah, I'm out of here. So just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. And uh, yeah, one of those things.